Hey guys, this is HTO Mario, and I'm going to be showing you how to hold off early game aggression. Kind of a super safe build that you can use to scout out any cheese before it hits, and how you can react to the cheese. So, as normal, you know, we get our supply depot at 10, our barracks at 12, and then our gas at 13, our refinery at 15, and then the other supply depot about 16 or 15. It, it's a really irrelevant as long as your orbital timing isn't delayed. Uh, this is because we get a Reaper right away, so well, we don't end up planning to get a Marine, which, uh, you know, kind of delays when we get a unit out, so we can throw down the supply depot faster before we get the Yuna, because you can tell that after we put it down we'll have enough minerals and gas for the Reaper. So the same SUV that builds everything at the front, you're gonna scout out his base with this. And uh, you wanna do some light pressure with this SUV and this Reaper, so what you wanna do is like throw down a bunker and try to defend it with the Reaper to force extra Zerglings or a drone pull or a queen attack. And uh, you really want him to overreact and if it gets up, awesome, if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You know, you, you're just trying to scout out his base, see everything he has, and get the feel of, like, are you going for a cheese, or are you playing a macro game? So, so far, everything looks standard. He's got his hatchery, and he's got two zerglings, so I know his spawning pool timing. And uh, he drops down two spine crawlers, so I think, okay, he's playing really defensive. So I'm not too worried, so I'm just going to throw my bunker up front. And um, I actually prefer having the bunker up front over anything else, because if you have Widow Mines, the... Widow Mines can help defend against like Zerging run-throughs, which is normally why you put it near your supply. So at this time, I see, okay, wait a second, something's fishy. You're getting three overlords at your expansion, but no units. Why would you need three overlords? And that's uh, because, well, you're going uh, heavy units, you know, so I'm thinking, all right, and there I see you. Those are the roaches, so I know he's coming from my base, and I already have uh, marines and Widow Mines building. So I build a third bunker at the front and transfer my uh, command center to my natural and drop down two factories so I can do counter pressure. And he's planning on attacking me, but he actually ends up just leaving because he... Let's, let's go back over here for a back a few seconds. So he comes in with quite a few of them, loses a roach right away, and then four already hurt. Uh, there's no way he can break these without bailings. And he knows I already have Widow Mines, and so the bailings, the bailing nest is done, the Zerglings are on their way. Uh, no, sorry, the bailing nest is on its way. It was on its way, but I guess when you leave the game it cancels. So the bailing nest was on its way, which gives me more time to get another bunker here, so then he has to break through three bunkers, extra Marines, a Widow Mine, and uh, a Medivac, so that's even more disastrous. And, uh, it's just, he was so far behind that the all-in, if it didn't kill me, he would just flat out lose. I'm already almost 10 workers ahead, so, you know, I was really far ahead in this game, just because I was able to scout out the cheese. So, a few things you can take from here is that if you have bunkers and window mines, you can build them at the front, and not have to worry about, like, a zergling run-through. Also, if you ever see more than a few overlords build, uh, right away, in the early game, it's either because he's either supply blocked and his macro is bad, or he's most likely getting a bunch of, of roaches to attack you. And, you know, that's what I was thinking, and I reacted perfectly. And then, uh, you know, you always, when you put down the bunker, the hatchery has to be close to finishing, otherwise he went for a uh, spawning pool first. And, you know, then you have to be really careful and try not to move down your ramp, but you can use your reaper to scout that out as well, if you see that. So those are just some light dips that you can use in the early game, and uh, you know you'll you'll see more mid game and late game stuff. I just wanted to kind of cover this, and uh, you know when I when I get the reactor, I don't think I mentioned that is after I build the factory is when I go for the reactor and the starport. So thanks for watching, guys.